Okay, chaps, let's talk about fighting wing and the way maneuvers can help you to stay in formation. I will focus on two ships, but uh, the same principle applies up to four ships and even between different flights. Regarding the two ships, uh, the general wingman position is from 60, maximum, 60 degrees maximum up to 30 degrees from the tail. This way, the leader can easily spot you and you are, as a wingman, ready to maneuver. Bad distance, let's go for 50 to 100 or 150 yards. And last point for safety reasons regarding collision avoidance, we will use a negative stack, roughly one wingspan. Here is an example of this position reference from an inside view. I would like you to look at this rectangular shape window in your canopy. I think this is a very, very good reference uh, for you to stay in formation. In fact, the fighting wing will allow the wingman to go from a side to another using the maneuvers of the leader to cut the corner and to close up or drift outside to move away from the leader. What we don't want is to stay inside the 30 degrees angle right on the 6 o'clock of the leader. We will try to go back in a 4 or 8 o'clock position as soon as the leader rolls out. Ok, let's see an example with a, a weak man on 4 o'clock and a leader turning right. First, uh, the leader roll in and the weak man will do exactly the same at the same time. So the both aircraft will turn in the same time. As the weak man is cutting the trajectory of the leader, uh, the distance between the two aircraft decreases. In order not to get too close, the weak man will drift from his present position to the outside of the leader trajectory. Do it simple, just uh, running out a little bit and release uh, the pressure on the pitch and naturally you are halfway go outside. As soon you go outside, the distance between the two aircraft uh, rises. When the leader roll out, roll out as well and return to an 8 o'clock position well visible from your leader. Ok, let's see uh, those uh, references from an inside view. Uh, the red circle on the left represents the initial leader position in my canopy. And as the distance decreases, I slowly drift outside, trying to keep my leader on a track parallel to uh, the horizon. But what about if we do more than 90 degrees? The principle will be the same. Uh, in this case, we will stay in formation by returning inside the path of the leader. And as the distance between the two aircraft goes down to the minimum, we will drift again outside, and so on, and so on. Easy? Okay, um, let's see uh, this in flight. So I'm flying with CQ, I've got the same RPM and uh, boost setting as CQ and CQ is turning right. So as soon as CQ turn right, I'm turning right as well, cutting the corner. And you should see that the distance decreases. So distance is still decreasing. In fact, it is very slow because this is for demonstration purpose. CQ is not uh, making a, a huge uh, turn, but a smooth one. Anyway, as the distance uh, is reaching the minimum, I am go outside of this trajectory and you can see the distance increases. We continue the same way. And now I'm going inside cut the corner and to decrease again this distance. I don't touch the RPM and the boost. My engine settings are the same. Look at this window on my left. We call it the magic window maybe and I'm drifting again outside. Check 
making R6. And inside again. Okay, we're gonna roll out and I will return on the 4 o'clock of CQ as soon as I can. Okay, in this case CQ will uh, roll outside. So I will have to turn inside as soon as I can. Cross the pass and cut the corner. Let's put CQ on the square shape window. And now I'm cutting the corner. As I'm getting closer, I will drift outside again. Okay, uh, the same principle can apply uh, during takeoff. So, CQ is taking off. I will take off a bit late in, in order to have it uh, demonstrating. Here we go. Airborne, gear up, checking my two greens Airborne. going out, producing RPM, okay, producing yeah. boost, checking two reds. Okay. I set the same RPM as CQ. Uh, if I want uh, to get it fast, I should apply a full boost, but uh, for, this de for this demonstration, I will set the same boost as CQ. Let's put CQ on the canopy window. Here we go. Look the distance. It's reducing very fast. Okay. Okay. Let's go now for uh, some uh, evolutions um, that could bring us to dogfight. So principle is quite the same, but uh, I will not able to go inside as I want or outside as I want. So I will use this rear sector in this case. I told you I don't want to use, it, to use this fixed sector, but with use evolution of the leader, I will have to use it. So, CQ is turning right, turning right as well, and going inside. Taking G's, turning inside, cutting the corner, I keeping the same boost as CQ again. He will roll out by the left. I'm cutting inside. And I follow my leader. My fuselage is parallel with one of CQ. Going outside, you roll out. I'm trying to catch the 4 o'clock as soon as I can. Let's use now the vertical plan. The principle is still the same. We can cut the corner and go outside by the same way. Here we go. He climb, I climb. I'm M for the low wing, going outside in this case and returning and going for the low wing again. I'm cutting the corner. He's running out. He's turning left, I'm going inside. Keeping inside, getting closer, going outside. You roll out. And it's alright. 
I follow him. Now going inside. Taking G's. Keep going. He roll out. Okay, as soon as I can, I will join. Z4 or 8 o'clock. Good. Okay, so we have seen the uh, fighting wing and how um, uh, the way uh, to use different maneuvers can help you to stay uh, in formation. Uh, hope uh, you enjoyed and uh, see you in the air, chaps. Bye bye.